Almost everything is ready for the third temple, claims Israeli TV. This is a brand new article. It just came out yesterday. Yeah. Almost everything is ready for the third temple, claims Israeli TV report about red heifers brought to Israel last year. So, again, this hardly a week goes by we don't see an, another article about the red heifers or the third temple being ready. This is really something we've been sitting around watching. And in and, and all of your years, have you seen... Have you ever seen the trend being where it's basically on a weekly basis now we, we can find such an article? You know, it, to me, it's pretty exciting because I've been following this for some time. And, and to see uh, the idea that Israel's excited about it. Matter of fact, it's not just a small religious section. When we first started talking about the Red Heifer, I can say 15 years ago or so, right. it was just a, a group of people at the Temple Institute. It was what you'd call a re- religious zealots. Well, now everyone's talking about it. And, uh, and in this article, it was interesting because he talks about the fact that, that one red heifer could serve for over 600 billion purifications. That's a lot of purifications. And, and how it happens, they, they cremate the animal. They put those ashes into a pot called a kalio. Then they dip into the ash with a, a, a reed that has a hollow tip. So there's just a little bit of ash. They put that into a basin of water. So they stir that around. And so now when someone is purified, there's just a little bit of ash as they throw that water on them. Now that person is purified. If they touch someone dead or if they, had, they were in a house where there's a particular disease, now they're called clean. They can go in. But even more important right now at this moment to the Jewish people, you see, there are some rabbis who say no Jew should go up on the Temple Mount because they're not purified. And by going up there without being purified by the, these ashes of a red heifer, they, they desecrate that holy mountain. Uh, and so, man, that, that's why there's such controversy about this thing. The other thing is um, Islam is having a fit because Islam is saying no. Uh, you know, their, their literature says whoever has the ashes control will, will rule the world, will control the world. So they're doing everything they can to make sure that Israel does not cremate the red heifers. Five were brought over uh, just in the last several weeks. I can't remember. It's a month ago, three weeks ago. Uh, three of these animals have gone to ancient Shiloh. Ancient Shiloh is the very place that, that you and I have talked about, the fact that our good friend, Dr. Scott Stripling, they found the, the cornerstone, the fourth cornerstone of the ancient temple site. And uh, we're, you know, we're familiar with that area. We, I, I love going to that area and seeing all that's taking place there. They brought those heifers back there. Two are in one place. One is in a place. Two more in another place. They're afraid that someone's going to try to kidnap them. That's how important it is. They even did a, a temple dinner because there's so much attention given to this. And so some say they're waiting until they're three years old. Some say, let's begin the purification process right now. Uh, wow, this, this thing is at an all-time high in terms of interest in Israel and interest in the world. And, of course, a man who's kind of uh, steps across both circles is a man by the name of Ben Veer. And Ben Veer, he wants the heifers slaughtered, purified, and he's the one who's saying, no, this